Hi guys, Jamie from Boxing Life, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Rival RB7 Boxing Gloves. Stay tuned. So today I'm going to be doing, having a look, closer look at this for you, which is the Rival RB7 Bag Gloves. Um, I got these in a blood red version. Uh, kind of traditional kind of style, uh, which I think is quite cool. Now, just the first thing, just a couple of things, just to make a note, Rival are a Canadian boxing equipment company. They've made tons of different types of uh, boxing equipment and they're well known for their kind of innovative, uh, I guess, boxing gloves. You know, they kind of have a slightly different style. They definitely try new things. And for the most part, I quite like Rival, they're a good brand. And today I just wanted to go over this kind of beginner glove, which is the RB7, like I said. So in the case of Rival, you know, they've kind of introduced this kind of beginner, you know, boxing glove for those just looking to get a good kind of fitness or punch bag workout. You kind of come around, if you're from the UK, about 50 pounds. US is probably about this, around $50, somewhere around that kind of area. So overall you can tell this is a very kind of synthetic kind of glove, just when it's not real leather at all. Like a lot of Rivals gloves, I don't think it's only the Guerrero gloves which are real leather, but, but the glove itself is actually made out of kind of a kind of synthetic kind of PU leather. Uh, looks kind of like a kind of car, it's got this kind of carbon fiber kind of look to it, but I'll, I'll give you a closer look later on in this video. In terms of the actual punch foam, uh, it's definitely very, it feels very padded when you have it within the glove. It feels very comfortable and it's, yeah, it's very kind of foam based, which is, it's a, it's a nice, I quite like the feel of it when you're using it on the, on the heavy bag or just on normal kind of boxing equipment. I think it's great. So just another thing to keep in mind, Rival make it really clear this is not an all-purpose glove it's just to be used on things like the heavy bag double end bag or freestanding bag stuff like that and that's just due to the density and the foam and the and the padding which could hurt you know if you're going to be sparring with this so just something to keep in mind so these are great for a secondary glove so if you're just going to be doing bag work these are absolutely fine or if you're just going to be doing kind of more fitness related stuff this is a perfect glove for that, um, which I highly recommend. The other great thing about this glove is that it comes in tons of different color options. And I just quite like this, you know, it comes in green, pink, um, all sorts. So if this doesn't kind of pick your fancy, you can definitely find another option for it. You know, you see these gloves online, the kind of stock images, they don't look that good. But when you actually get it up close, the quality is actually pretty you know, it's really good in my opinion, um, the stitching and just the way it's been. But speaking about that, let's now have a bit of a closer look at the glove just to kind of give you an idea of kind of what it looks like up close. So this is just a bit of a closer look up at the glove now, guys. And as you can see, it's quite like a synthetic -y kind of look to it. And first thing you might notice is this kind of like, it looks like kind of carbon fiber. And I think they actually call it kind of like a carbon leather PU or something like that. And yeah, it definitely, as you can see, it's kind of shining in the light. Uh, it's kind of got like, it's like it's got a protective layer on the, the leather. It's kind of weird, but I don't know. Like I, I think it looks quite cool personally, um, but I know some people might be a bit funny about that. In terms of the glove, that's just kind of show you uh, the kind of thumb area which is like a normal kind of standard leather which is really comfortable and that's just a bit of a look at the the actual padding um, as you can see it's quite dense um, if I show you here like you know it takes quite a lot to squeeze through so so that's where it definitely makes sense where you can only use that on the heavy bag you know that it's just it's too dense for sparring in my opinion and let's have a look at the palm now. As you can see, it's like double stitching, um, holds up really well. And yeah, I really quite like the palm area. It's just, you know, it's not too heavy. 
and then they've also put like a they've changed the leather on the inside to a kind of white uh, which is quite cool just to kind of and uh, change up the contrast but yeah no it's just really it just feels really solid when you have it on uh, personally and this is the strap as you can see it's got the rival branding here and even on the, the front of the glove as well and let's just have a look at it this way as well as you can see so it's quite a good strike area and I guess let's just if I just go over to this glove you can see just the actual Argo it's called I think it's called the it's the Ergo strap system. So they, I think they have this in the majority of some of their gloves and they're all, you know, rival really push this about their their strap systems. And yeah, I think they're probably one of the best at doing it. And yeah, it's quite a solid strap system that they have. So yeah, it goes all the way around. So I'm just using one hand, so it's a bit of a struggle, but yeah, it can, you know, it feels really tight when you have it on and yeah it's something that i think works perfect so the rb7 is also it's it's a velcro strapping as well which as you can see here the velcro kind of material on either side and it is really solid from just my experience using it and um, doesn't really come off at all uh, in terms of the inside just to show you it's kind of it's kind of got this kind of nylon foamy feel all inside the glove and um, I've used these quite a bit now so they kind of you can see the kind of material kind of fading a little bit but yeah no I think it's really good in terms of the overall structure of it yeah I just think it's like the overall use of this is just Rival have done a really good job and you know one of the you know probably the best feature is probably this dense foam, you know, it just protects your hand. And sometimes, you know, with like your more expensive clothes, you know, that, you know, your hands can really hurt after a tough boxing session. And with these, it's just so protected, you know, it really protects your hand. I got these in 14 ounce for those that are wondering. And yeah, that was, you know, that was perfect for me. You might want to get these in 16 ounce if you're a bit bigger. And to protect or if you've got really kind of you know weak hands you know maybe the, the 16 ounce option might be better depending on your weight but yeah i think definitely one to consider um the the only thing i'll make a note of like what i recommend that you do is after you use because of this kind of foam material within the glove you need to make sure that you air out the glove action you know get some deodorizers stick them in or just you know open them out put them out in fresh air because just from the material that rival have used if you don't look after these you know they are going to start to smell and the big and the bacteria will gather up over time so that's just something to keep in mind guys and yeah hopefully that kind of gives you a better kind of look at what the rival rb7 gloves look like up close i just kind of want to finish off you know just by kind of going over you know some of the kind of pros and cons in terms of positives, I think this is a great just kind of beginner glove. I think in terms of the padding, it's got very good protection um, for your knuckles. Great kind of foam resistance. So if you're using the heavy bag, you know your hand's going to be absolutely fine using it. A lot. The other the other good thing about them is that there's tons of different color options. Some people are quite funny about the color of the gloves, so you'll definitely have an option. You know, whatever your favorite color is, you can definitely choose it. Another point, you know, it's an affordable starting boxing glove, you know, it's not one of the cheaper ones, um, you know, it's kind of a mid-range beginner glove, and yeah, I think it's quite affordable if I'm being honest, I think uh, it's a good starting point, or even as a secondary glove, um, which, you know, the, like I said before, it's not an all-purpose glove, it's only for kind of bag work. And then, obviously, as I showed you, um, up when we're looking up close is the actual Ergo system strap. I think it, it just feels really tight, nice and compact on your wrist. It feels very secure um, and that's a big, that's a very big bonus for me. In terms of negatives for this, I guess you can't use it for sparring which can be a bit frustrating, you know, you can only use it for bag work. And so if you're looking for a glove which is going to suit all your purposes, this isn't the glove for you. It's great for if you're just going to be doing bag work or you need a secondary glove, you know, you know, so you've got your sparring day and then you've got your training day. 
where you can use these. And then I guess like just the final point, you know, you can get, you know, if you're going to be spending, you know, fifty dollars, fifty pounds on something like this, you know, could you spend another extra twenty pounds, thirty pounds, even another fifty pounds or fifty dollars on a better glove? And um, that is all purpose and you can use for everything. So those are kind of the cons for me, but overall, I think this is a really good, you know, you know, simple glove by Rival and I do highly recommend it mainly for kind of beginners or those that are just looking to do fitness work. Uh, definitely a good glove and I highly recommend you check it out. So if you like this review guys, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Really appreciate the support so far and there'll be lots more coming from me over the year. Thanks for watching. Thank you.